Hello, everybody. Welcome to Extra Time. Oh, full house here. Chambers here. Mm. I like how you get into it, and you're actually like you're you're actually looking at the screen. Ah, this is it. Now, for people who don't know what I'm talking about, you have to listen to the podcast if you're just watching this on the old uh, computer or phone or wherever else you uh, <laughs> consume your social media, Stephen. What are you looking at me for? <laughs> well, you are the social media wits. <laughs> <laughs> Guru. <laughs> Why does the media always pick on players like Pogba, Martial, Alexis? Well, players like Nemanja Matic get a free pass. He's been poor for months now and provides our back four with no cover. He needs to be dug out. You're in the media, John. OK, shall we dig him out? Go on, then. I don't think he's been very good, has he? And uh, maybe we need to say that. So, yeah, I, I, I take your point. But if you, if you carry the... Well, it's not my point. It's if you, OK, the I'll take the point that's in front of you here. If you carry the profile... Don't I'm, get angry, John. Indeed, <laughs> don't get angry. I find it very difficult not you know to with no, him. Just, I really just, do. Just let him go. OK. <laughs> Pogba, Martial, yep. Sanchez, big price tags, yeah. big expectations, big profiles that they seek themselves, you need to perform. I think Matic doesn't go around looking for the profile in the same way, but he hasn't performed this season, so I think he does deserve more scrutiny than he's had. More scrutiny than he deserves, Stevie? I don't think so. Are you not my friend anymore? Of course I am, John. Oh, thank you. For now. I don't, no, I don't, I don't, <laughs> no, because he, he's, he's... I love this. People complain, whoa, we don't have enough cover for the back line. Well, guess what? The back line has to do a job every now and again when it's asked to defend. And Matic, I think, doesn't do a bad job, considering that the players that he's been playing with, I don't think help him out. He ends up... He ends up half the time, for me, being caught too deep because the defenders want him in front of them. Right. And sometimes he ends up too high because the others are trying to push him further up. So he ends up not doing the job that he's best at. And that's finding a good position right in the middle so that the ball's knocked out when they're attacking, he gets it. But then he's deep enough or not too deep that when he needs to defend, they win it back at a decent, a decent position in the field. And, I, I'd add and in. all these other geezers you're talking about, sorry, man. Oh. All these other geezers here. <laughs> yeah, on my bit of paper. Guess what? Man oh, yeah. United are sixth, sixth in the league at scoring goals. And all these guys on that list yeah. are getting a lot of money to score goals. Mm. And that's what the game's about. Maybe not Pogba so much, but uh, for me... <laughs> <laughs> For, <laughs> for me, the biggest thing. Get rid of Matic, Get rid of Matic. No, I think the biggest, biggest thing for me for Matic, he, he hasn't he hasn't been as good, but he still he still goes through the process of what he likes to do, and that is playing balls forward. And right now, Manchester United are all over the place with, with regards to shape, but he's still trying to force balls into bad spots when it. Other times, in other years, people were in better spots to receive those balls. Too many people for Manchester United at this point in time receive the ball, look, look up, have no option, and they play backwards. And uh, how do they look the up again? How do they look up again? The same way everybody looks up. Do <laughs> <Okay. laughs> you want me to go down? That would be really weird. Uh, was that Raf? Ra was that your phone ringing? Uh, do you really think a Super League is going to happen? I don't think it is going to happen in the uh, near future. I think the Super League is what nuclear weapons were during the Cold War. Ooh. A credible threat, a deterrent, but nobody really wants to make it happen. Uh, from time to time you have to pretend it's very close to put FIFA, sorry, UEFA under more pressure. But if you look at the, this uh, year's new and uh, revamped Champions League with a new format, the top five leagues already have 19 out of 32 starting places. So really, it might not be called a Super League, but it's come very close to what they are th threatening to do anyway, which was to break away. You like the idea of a Super League? No, I don't, but I agree with Raf. We are pretty close to it already. And I just think it will become I boring. I think Raf said it was close, though. He said it's just... No, no, it's close to it in terms of what the Champions League has become, with the leading sides guaranteed a certain amount of progression. I mean, I, I just... I fear the day when we get to an NFL-style situation, whether it's a European League or a National League, where membership is guaranteed and you take away the, the prospect, the, the, the peril element of competing in that league. And that, of course, is what a lot of these club owners want. So I pray that we don't get to a European Super League. Why well, you hate the NFL? I don't hate the NFL. Well, it sounded like it. No, no. The NFL yeah. is <laughs> what it is and it's extremely successful. It's just that we come from a different culture uh -huh. where that peril is a big part of the sporting picture. I'm going to move on. 
Uh, Rafa, RJ, and Sancho. His NFL and... knowledge isn't uh, so good, so he's like, got to move on. <laughs> wow. What? <laughs> it's true. It is very true. <laughs> <laughs> RJ and Sancho and Jacob Brum Larson, Raf now the preferred starters over Christian Pulisic <clears throat> for Lucien Favre. It's a little surprising. He didn't even come off the bench this weekend. What's going on? Well, Christian Pulisic has a lot of competition, uh, and that's because Mario Götz is back in the picture. Mario um, Marco Royce is completely undroppable. Um, and then you're fighting for one and a half places. So it's normal that he's not going to play as many games. And Jaden Sancho in recent weeks has just been absolutely sensational. I don't think Brun Larsen is necessarily more of an automatic starter than Christian Pulisic. But with Sancho, Royce and Goetze and Alcácer uh, being there, it's going to be very difficult for him to get uh, as much starting time. The good news is I think that Dortmund will go deep into a lot of competition. So mm. this time will come. What would you say to him, Brian, if he rang you up in the summer, he's not starting these big games, said, oi, Mr. McBride, well, that's you're old. Thing, right? you I mean, we, we talked about the possibility of him moving, and, and all of us felt he was just in such a great opportunity to get so many games at a high level. And if he's not getting those games, I certainly think you need to start looking what your other options are. I also think that you know, Sancho is still learning this process, where I think Christian Pulisic is has been in those positions. Yeah. You look at this last game. In the first half, Sancho was non-existent. I mean, he was afraid to take players on. Christian Pulisic has no fear, and he knows what to do in those situations. Now, granted, second half was better for Sancho, but that, I think that might be part of the reason why he's playing in these games and not necessarily because Christian Pulisic isn't good enough or isn't better than I know question is for you, Ali, and it's oh. a story we brought up, I think, on yesterday's Extra Time. Can Ali Moreno tell us the time he was banned from one of the US men's national team meetings? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So I used to do the Mexico game yep. for the network, and uh, at one point we were going to do US-Mexico in Mexico, and everybody that was covering the game, uh, I think it was... Yeah, the, the, our, our whole squad that was covering yeah. the games were going to meet with Jurgen Klinsmann. So it was you, Taylor, and Ian, would it have been? Yes, and yeah. uh, Casey Keller would yeah. have been there. Alexi Lalas would have been right. there. Bob Lee would have been right. there. I mean, everybody was right. there. They were all allowed to go meet with Jurgen Klinsmann yeah. prior to the game to get information about uh, what, sure. what, what the plan was, lineup, whatever, all these things, yeah. as you do in preparation for these matches. Uh, again, all day, all of them were allowed to go into the room. I was uh, given the old thanks but no thanks uh, phone call just five minutes before and said, uh, it probably would be best if you didn't attend. And uh, yeah, it was essentially coming from the Jurgen Klinsmann camp that I could not go into the room. And the reason being? Because apparently I was going to take all that information, turn right around, and give it to the Mexican national team. <laughs> well, you would have, would you? I mean... <laughs> That's exactly what you well, would have done. Double agent. Uh, first of He's all... He's a double agent. First of all, just a clarification. I am not Mexican. <laughs> I had no interest in either team, U.S. or Mexico, for, the, for that matter. And I would I saw have... You, I saw you on a float doing Cinco de Mayo once. <laughs> <laughs> so why were you doing that then? That was, when was that? That was in Houston. That was because I was the only Spanish-speaking player in the team at the time. Oh. I'm an heck, Ali. Oh, yeah, well, well, you know, I have a memory gap. The double agent is not, not unfounded. I, but, uh, so, in any case, yes, I, like I, I did not get access to the meeting. Oh, I like it. And I did not divulge any information either. Because, <laughs> of course, there was no information to divulge. They're going to tell you. Apparently, I don't know. Uh, that is it. Thank you very much. Are you back tomorrow, John? Or no, no, one day. One, one day, day, one day. day. Thank you very much, ESPN FC. So you're, you're flying, Brian, tomorrow? Yes, I will. Enjoy your dinner this evening. Yeah, thank you. Very you little. Thank you very little. Where are you going? <laughs> ESPN FC back then tomorrow. <laughs>